the team will wear gas masks to protect their lungs. Corrosive gases such as sulfur dioxide are released in quantities upwards of 10,000 tons per day and can cause permanent respiratory damage. Should have stuck with covering high school sports. Trying not to kick off anything. Yeah, yeah. The climbers on this team feel very confident in what they're doing, but I just see the simple fact that 10 millimeters is separating me from life and death, period. Whoa, whoa, watch out, rock coming down. Watch out! Be careful! That way, over there. Be careful. Footing is, ooh, that footing is, every step is a little bit un uncertain, isn't it? The team arrives at the first terrace. Here, the temperature is already warmer than the frigid summit camp above. It's kind of a awkward feeling if that wall breaks. Oh yeah, you're f***ed, put it mildly. Karsten has his first good look at the spatter cone the retaining wall around the bubbling cauldron of the lava lake. Damn it. I don't know how to approach. He considers the risk of climbing up to the edge. That is very steep. It's important uh, to push yourself, to expose you to certain challenges. On the other hand, you want to be always on the safe side. The risk is enormous. From the summit camp above, Charles Balaghisi notes an even greater risk. The lava lake has begun to overflow. Below, they push on. Okay, guys. After five grueling hours, they finally reach the second terrace. Now, we'll start letting it go down and see if it goes to the Be ground. Be careful of the fracture. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Over 300 pounds in tents, sleeping bags, food, and scientific gear are lowered on a separate trolley system. Ken and Dario begin to set up camp while the others descend. I'll sleep with you. Oh, that's a good news. Yeah, I want to go down. 